Now in a previous video, we talked about the invention of Stone Age tools and how they affected humanity. Today we're going to go a little bit more in depth and focus on five Stone Age tools that changed the game for humanity. Now the first thing you might ask yourself when it comes to stone tools, how does someone make a stone sharp? You'd be surprised at how sharp stones can actually be made with a process called pressure flaking. Lightly but firmly, ancient people would smack the end of a roughly flat piece of stone chipping off small pieces. This would fracture, causing sort of like a sedimentary effect. It would create the desired edge needed. Some stone tools could be as sharp as glass, actually. There are even some cases where ancient people did use glass. Not man-made glass, that is, but natural occurring glass called obsidian, which comes from volcanoes. This led to the creation of most handheld cutting tools used to process plants and game that was killed during the hunt. Speaking of hunting, how did ancient people bring down large to medium-sized game? That would be with throwing spears and rudimentary bows and arrows. Using the pressure flaking method, small rocks would be formed into many different types of projectile heads. Some of them were designed to penetrate deep into the animal and fall back out, sort of like the armor penetrating around the ancient world. Others had barbs and hooks on them to stay lodged in the animal or human alike. The introduction of ranged weaponry to humanity changed the way Stone Age citizens hunted game and waged war on fellow groups of people. Speaking of war, the main weapon and tool used to kill and maim one another was the stone axe. This weapon was just brutal. First it was made with the pressure flaking method and then stone axes evolved into somewhat rounded and polished heads. Ancient people found that when ground down and polished that the stone axe head would retain a sharp edge for a long time and be less likely to chip. To the people of the stone age, the axe was the bread and butter of their toolkit. From being able to take down small trees that were used at the construction of their huts or cutting firewood, the stone axe was a must have in ancient times. Even more so in self defense from hostile neighbors warring for their food and resources. Now not all stone age tools were actually used for killing. The mono and matate, they were the ancient version of the mortar and pestel. The mono was the rock that what was being ground was placed on, and the matate was the hand tool that was run over the top with pressure to grind up the material. The mono and matate were used back then for the same things used today. It made the grinding of grains easier, or to crush nuts and seasonings into an ancient cereal. The mono and matate also revolutionized the ancient medicine. While still very rudimentary and lacking any sophistication, the use of dried herbs had nutritional benefits that, although they were not aware why, made ancient folk feel better and live longer. So that makes the mono and matate one of the most important cooking tools of ancient times. Finally, we come to the last ancient tool being featured on this video. The precursor to the hoe, the stone adze. Now, not quite like the modern day equivalent, the stone adze looks like a hoe. Oh, no, not that one. Yeah, that one. It looks like one, but it's actually quite different. It was mainly used in the fine working of woods and carving of woods. There were some larger versions used to take down small trees like an axe, but mainly the stone adze was focused on smaller, more finely detailed work. One of the biggest uses of the stone adze was woodworking, but once agriculture was implemented, ancient people realized its digging potential in what would be known as the hoe was born. Without these amazing ancient inventions, humanity would have failed and died off or be stuck in the past, never realizing our full potential. Have you ever wanted to see how to make stone tools or what they look like while in use? Go check out Primitive Technology. He's a survivalist that uses mainly stone age technology to apply to survival situations, either in the long term or the short term. What do you guys think of these ancient tools? Have you ever used them? Learning about these tools not only expands your knowledge of where we came from, but also help you in a survival situation. Don't forget to subscribe and keep up to date on all of our videos. And if you liked the video, throw us a like. It all helps us in the long run. Oh, and don't forget to check out these other videos about ancient inventions that changed the world. Us here at Nerd Factor, thank you guys for all of your recent support, and we really look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.